scientific panel has produced their evidence report today, which says that pap smears are really all that women need. You can get one about every three years and be fine for cancer screening. And they say the evidence is still a little thin yet on whether to recommend for or against screening with uh, HPV testing, which looks for a virus that causes cervical cancer. Right now, cervical cancer screening is a great success story. It's really very good news for women. Deaths have been cut in half. Um, cases have been cut in half because a pap smear can find cervical cancer many years before it even has a chance to develop into cancer. A new study is out finding that if you go every year for a mammogram and you do this for 10 years, your chances are 61% of having a false positive, that is having, uh, having to go back for more tests that turn out not to show any sign of cancer at all. Um, if you go every other year instead, that 60% chance drops to 42%. So there are fewer false scares, false alarms, if you go every two years for mammograms. A lot of women really don't mind a false alarm. They're, they're, they're uneasy about it. They can cost money. They can lead to side effects. But some women feel that it's worth that for the extra margin of early detection. Um, the authors did the study to give women a better idea of just how strong those chances are. More than half of women get called back for an extra test that turns out to have been unnecessary because no cancer is found.